action. Wait, let me get to it. <laughs> oh, almost there. Um, action. Okay, this is how you're going to tell the story of your life. Okay, as a virgin, give this description of the person you want to lose or have lost your virginity to. You have to describe them. Is that all of them? No, just the first. Ooh. He did football, wrestling, track, and baseball. Very athletic. I was ta I was an inch tall at the time. Um, he he looks like he has black hair, but he's just a very dark, dark brunette hair. I forget his eye color, cause his girlfriend's a bitch I now, agree. and I don't get to hang out with him that much. Jesse, it's blue. Is it blue? Yes. Oh, yeah. See, Sad that I know you're. <laughs> joined us more. Um, he's cute. There's more than just this, you know, girl. Um, did I have to describe the environment we were in? Or? No! Oh, I just have to describe the person? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. You John, your turn! Um, person I lost it to was the boy that didn't graduate. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, which Disney character are you most like? Mm -hmm. That's hard. I don't know. You tell me. I think I'm like Ellie from Up. Because you know like in the beginning where she's like the crazy little spunky girl? But then she like, you know, settles down and loves and all that jazz. I feel that's like that's... you. You want the romance. The big romance. Like, it's like you're seeing That was life. such a sad movie too in the beginning. I don't know who I'm like. And that's not a fairy princess. That's a person in a movie. It's a Disney character. Oh, we can do... Oh, I thought we had to do princesses. No! Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I know, why right? It's out. It's like, hmm. I say, I think you could be Tramp, but the only thing you have in common with that is the name. From Lady in the Trap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, next. Since you can't think of anything, and that's all I've come up with, that, that's good enough. Okay. Do you think you'd feel better if you knew what's going to happen to you? Ooh. Oh, do you think you'd feel better if you knew what's going to happen to you later in life? Yes. Yes, I would. I don't know if I would. I feel like I don't want to know what's going to happen because then I'm just going to expect it. And then I won't have any true feelings about it, you know? Like, okay. I want some... Oh, crap. Why am I getting Snapchat? Focus! What the fuck, Okay, do you think... What's your thoughts? Um, yes. Yes, I would want to know what would happen to me. If I was going to get hit by a train, good information. <laughs> Okay, what are your top ten favorite songs? Ah! Uh, Use your fingers, too. Dude, my phone has my favorite songs. Goalie! Oh, no, right here. I pre-did it. You thought ahead. You go full then, That's so I That's because I did it. That's how I found it. Okay. One. Th these aren't in any particular order, too. Hold up your fingers. Okay. One. A Little Party Never Killed Nobody, because that's a great song in the Great Gatsby soundtrack. That's what you get. I've loved that song for like forever. Number three, I Just Wanna Run. Also a good one. Number four, Cannibal, because I have an obsession with Kesha. Uh, number five, Cello Wars. Got pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. It's Star Wars themed. Number six, Lights, the um, Bass Nectar edit version from a Bob. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, number seven, Midnight City, because I have a crazy obsession with the friggin' shower scene and warm bodies. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love that movie. Shut your face. Okay. Number eight, Sleepyhead by Passion Pit. Just, yes, my, my nerd jam. Number nine. Jordan, it was eight. No, this is number nine now. Oh. 
Number nine, Mr. Brightside by The Killers. It's a good song, good song. And then number ten, The Way We Get By by Spoon. <laughs> okay. Can you think of any songs, Jesse? Ooh, Crazy Girl. Fingers. Crazy Girl. <laughs> Mr. Brightside, I like that song. Um, okay. Peacock. Um, oh, she thinks my track is sexy. You have a bunch of country girl songs. Um, Honeybee. Boom Boom. I love that song. <laughs> no. No? I don't know Boom Boom, then. Bobby Girl? Is that it? Yeah, that's the song. <laughs> oh! Boom, 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 boom. No. I want you in. That's the only other um, thing you saw. God there. Gave Me You. God Gave Me Um. Your beauty's deeper than makeup. I don't actually know that song. This is one thing. Story of a Girl. I like that song. This is Story of a Girl. Are you just going to sing all the songs I choose? Um, fifth, tenth one, I mean. Um. Oh, your last song? No, I need tenth one. <laughs> oh, the tenth? Uh, oh, Neon Tree, that one song. What are you waiting for? I don't think that's the actual name of it. Okay, next. Okay. Who's so someone hard. you wish you didn't have to say goodbye to? Hmm. The good books. I think once my time rolls around and I have to leave in November, I'm going to hate saying goodbye to you, Jesse. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. I'm going to cry my freaking eyes You know eyes what? Out. I might cry. And it, ask Joy, I don't cry over me. I don't cry when animals die. You cried over Zippy. Dude, I tried to hide it. No, I do cry, but I cry by myself. You didn't cry when Rosie died. No, 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 no. I cried later on by myself. I have both my eyes out that I don't but no, I am going to miss you so much. Like, I was so pissed that you didn't even go to my graduation. Like, I cried when you told me the first time. I cried when it actually happened. I cried after graduation. Because I was like, Jesse wasn't there. Ugh. I cried, and I cried, and I cried. You know, Joan, you're probably going to hate my guts, but um, I was at sectionals, and I was trying to leave early then, and I was just like, oh, Fine, and I gotta leave and go to my sister's graduation. If I leave now, I can make it. Then she, she let me go, and then I ended up going to a party. <laughs> Jesse! <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, I'm totally joking. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's not even funny. I'm sorry, I just wanted to see your face. <laughs> it's not funny. No, but I didn't want to let okay. leave. <laughs> what tattoos do you want? Or have, and what's the story behind them? Mm, if I got tattoos, it'd probably be for my kids' names. You don't even have any kids yet. And I'm talking when I'm older. Are you just going to, like, pre-tattoo your children's names? I on am. You? And, and then it turns out you don't even have, like, the right gender for your child's name. I'd be so pissed. <laughs> I don't want girls. Girls are too much. I want one girl, and then I want two boys. You just said you didn't want girls. I know, I lied. See, I feel like I want, like, a little snowman on my hand or something, you know, for mom. That'd be cool. And then, like, kind of like... If I have a snowman, for some reason, I want white hair. White hair on the call, though. Yeah. We like... should get snowmen for mom. Okay. Once I'm out of boot camp and you're 18. Well, I'll be 18 next year. Well, it works out then. No, because I'll really get the tattoo before you. But I want it, I you want to get him at the same time. I want mom to draw it like a simple small snowman, you know. Why? I don't know. I think it means... I want to find like some cool like snowman scene. Where would you like, put it? On my hand. A, oh, see. Originally, I drew, see, like, I'm talking like, simple snowman task possible, and I put it like right here. See, I was thinking about putting it right here. On your collarbone? Yeah. That's supposed to hurt a lot. I know. It's supposed to hurt really bad. Do you have any others too. you really want? I don't know. I want a little hope, but I don't know what. Like, I don't know. I might get that white hair on you my hip. On Why am I wanting everything on my bone? I'm being pain. Jesse, you could be like, get a little heart on your knuckle. Oh, yeah. Whenever I get married, though, I could do that white hair. Put an initial in there. 
Dude, it's gonna suck if you get a divorce. But I'm not yeah, gonna but get a divorce. You're always gonna love that person. I'm not gonna get. Dude, Andrew's talking about getting a tattoo like with my name, and I'm like, why? I don't know. <laughs> Cause he I loves. He's against that kind of stuff. He is, but he loves me. And I'm just like, don't do it. And he's like, I'm gonna do it just for you, just because I love you. I'm just like, he's never loved anyone like this. He showed me. <gasps> Oh my god, you know what you could do if, like, you 100% like, liked Andrew and stuff? Mm -hmm. You could get, like, Toy Story style Andy written on your foot. <laughs> that would be so cute! They have shoes. What? They have Toy Story shoes and Andy's written on the bottom of it. I know, but wouldn't that be cute if you did that on, like, maybe, like, the side of your foot or something? That would hold get, like, so Andy? bad. I feel like it would tickle, just because it's on the bottom of your foot, like, right there. Move I... Trying to show, like, you get Andy written on your foot. Can I want Andy on your foot? Okay, okay. <laughs> next, next. Um, if you could learn any dance style, which would it be? Learning dance style? Yeah, like, any dance moves, what would you want to learn? I don't know, I've always been into, like, I always wanted to learn salsa. Salsa? I feel like... Any dance move would be better than what I already know now, which is nothing because I dance worse than a white girl. So maybe, maybe if, even if I could dance like a white girl. Ew, did I spit on me? Focus. Sorry. Where are we now? Um, what's a movie that has changed your life or way of thinking? Which movie? Like just any movie. What movie is like changed you mm. or like your either your life or your way of thinking or maybe even both mm. it's hard <laughs> I wanted to say like a porno but no <laughs> how does that change your way of life you gonna test that move out on Andrew always okay anyways no I'm joking I don't what's know what's a movie that's changed your life I'm think I want to say a Disney movie, like Disney movies, like screaming in my head. Well, of course, Disney movies. I want to say like Juno, like I really like that movie, not just because of the teen pregnancy in it, but just like I feel like it changed my way of thinking. Either that or Marley and Me. Oh, that was a sad movie. Yes, Marley and Me. That's my choice. You copycat. You said Juno. Yeah, but then I also added Marley and Me. Okay. If an apocalypse were to happen, what do you think the situation would be? I feel like I'd either be a zombie or I would be a zombie slayer. Just because in my senior obit, I was put down as a um, zombie slayer. And I didn't die until I was in like my late 40s. That was 50s. Days. That was either late 40s or early 50s. I'd have to check. I still have the uh, magazine from it. I can even read it. I feel like I shoot myself. Why would you shoot yourself? Because, I don't know. That just, like, popped in my head when you first said that. I'm like, I'd probably shoot myself in the head. Why would you shoot yourself in the head? Load my gun. Uh, Jordan Jensen, free spirit or fashion felon? Hmm. Don't know, don't know. Free. Uh, found it. Okay, Jordan Jensen's date of birth was August 2nd, 1994. After graduating from Osborne High School, Jordan moved to Florida to live with the Swamp People. We all remember Jordan for her crazy hair and clothes. What we didn't know was she knew something about Florida we didn't. She knew there were zombies, and she wanted to be a renowned zombie slayer. On the afternoon of Sunday, June 25th, 2047, it seems Jordan finally met her match with a particular zombie. Rip Jordan. <laughs> that, that's... My cause of death, too, yeah. so. I could be a zombie slayer. Yeah, I'd probably end up shooting myself. In okay, next. <laughs> um, tell us a story from when you were in high, high school or middle school. I'm still in high school. Well, tell a story. What's something that's, like, been funny or sad or anything that's happened? I don't know what I wrote for this. Um, oh, huh. Just any story. Dude, what I've learned from middle school and high school, you'll... F Don't pull fire alarms. <laughs> Dude. You can tell that story, Jesse. So, 8th grade middle school. 
close to the end of the year. I got this great idea to pull the fire alarm. I Happened you were peer to pressured. I was, but it was also we were kind of planning ahead of time when we got this really mean bitchy sub in alt class. <laughs> As, and we were just like, so who's going to do it and stuff? And then they were like, Jessica, you should, you should do it. I'm like, whatever. Add more ISS for me. Whatever. How many days of ISS? Do you I only got one day ISS, and I got five day OSS. Because, you know, if you're going to do something oh, yeah, sneaky, OSS, you, you got to be sneaky. Because, you know, you got to know the wild's cut. What? Well, you will got ten days of OSS. What? I knew the wild was cut. That's why I, why, why, why I just went up and did it. If I if the wire wasn't cut, the wire t- that would have sent straight to the file. Please, oh. man. And people hold it against me all the time. They write in. They want to know, hey, don't pull the file alarm, Jensen. Oh, Jensen, Anyways, be okay. careful. I know my story. That'll choose. I remember last year, you had gotten a ride from Andy or something, or you were still something one of those days. But I remember, like, it was a two-hour late start. And so, um, I was all baking goods in the morning, because you know how I always bake something for a two-hour late start? So I was, like, baking some yummy little, little treats, and so I heard the school bus pass us, so I was like, shit, like, I'll just walk to school then. So I pack up my, my nice little yummy baked goods, and I start walking to school, and as I'm about, like, on the highway, oh, the you know, like, was close to where, like, the, um, theater was. This is a funny story. I, um, get pulled over by this random lady, and she's like, hey, do you want a ride? I was like, being the lazy person that I am, I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll I'll get a ride. So this random lady drove me to school. She was actually really nice, though. Then she had kids in the back seat, too. No, she had just dropped them off. Oh. Or else she wouldn't have picked me up. But what I realized, um, on the way there, she told me about her church and how it has food and everything. And later on that day, I realized she must have thought I was homeless. Otherwise, she wouldn't be telling me about her church that has food. Okay, um, what are your top three favorite music albums? I also have this written. So. I don't. I do. Let's see, I have Born Alone, Crazy For You, and Don't You Fake It. I can't tell you. Thanks. I can't. Then say your top three favorite songs. Like, 100% top three favorite. That I could listen to 24-7 and I would get bored of. Oh, I should have said Pumped Up Kicks in my top ten. Ah. Pumped Up Kicks. Um, Crazy Girl. And God Gave Me You. I love how two of those are country. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. What's something you've learned from social networking? Anything you say can be used against you. What are you putting up on the site? Okay. Um, something I've learned. I think I've learned a lot just from, like, people and everything. Ooh, I have another thing. What? If you post it and it's about that person, they will come up to you and confront you. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Kristen. Sorry. What? She doesn't watch the video, is it? I should be funny if you, like, go to your Facebook page and be like, Come watch Jesse answer questions! <laughs> Especially some random girl named Kristen she does not like. It's Jackson's girlfriend. She Jackson's girlfriend Kristen! <laughs> she hates me, <laughs> Jackson. Okay, are we done here now? Yeah. It's, like, 18 minutes long. I don't know if this is going to post, but we'll try it! Mm.